State. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently, we have all the U.S. indices that we tr- tra- track trading to the downside. Dow's off 788 points, 2.5%. S&P down 3.5, 132 points. NASDAQ 4 and 3 tenths, or 500 points. 4 and 6 tenths percent for the Russell. 6.7% for the semis. It's just a ugly scene of carnage out there. It's not current. It's going to take a look at Goldilocks. Up 30 bucks, trading at 1849 on its way to 1879. Silver's up 45 cents. That's trading at 2187. Lights recruit up two bucks and change. 11742 is the print there. Natural gas up six pennies. 30 treasuries up 23 ticks as well. She's trading out at 13303. So where do we want to go to next out here? That's a great question. Let me see if I've got my indice charts up. Do I? Uh, I do not have those up here. So the only indice charts that I do have, we did this during the uh, Trader's Ed show. Let's go do it again out here. Again, just to kind of give you a feel for, for where we're at. And that's the bigger picture. So on the bigger picture out here, we're going to change windows, try to do this relatively uh, quick. And that bigger picture shows the Dow in the upper left-hand corner on a yearly basis. We're below. Last year's low, that is a bearish signal. That says longer term, the Dow wants to target 24,843. We'll get that signal if we see a weekly close below 30,014. That's a TD nine count breakout level. There's no bottom signal. So if you close below that breakout level, you head to the next breakout area. And it looks like that could actually be in the 24,843 level. We're in bar number seven on a daily basis for its TD nine count. Says you could get a bottom pattern that forms between tomorrow and Tuesday out here. If we go take a look at the S&P 500. Let's go switch our screens out here. The S&P 500, what we will see is that price on a monthly basis is trading below its TD nine count breakout level. Now it's early in the month out here, but if we do get a close below 37.23, its message is 29.65. We take a look at the weekly chart. Price is below second breakout area, which was at 38.19. You could get a big rally, obviously. That'd be a gigantic rally tomorrow. I don't think that's in the cards. So the signal here inside of the S&P from a weekly standpoint is that price wants to go target the 32.79 level. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. After that, Tom O'Brien will take us on home. And I'll be back with you tomorrow at about 8 o'clock sharp. So please tune in early then. If not, I'll look forward to seeing you on Tuesday because Monday is a holiday. Take care, folks. Have a terrific Thursday.